hey guys welcome back to the channel today i'll be teaching you how to make chicken chow mein roma's kitchen style so i'm going to start with the chicken and this is one and a half pounds of chicken legs and thigh here I'm going to add a half teaspoon of white pepper. Next I'm going in with a quarter teaspoon of meat seasoning. I'll link the exact meat seasoning down below but please be careful if your seasoning has salt. Next I'm going in with one tablespoon of soy sauce. There are a few ingredients in this which will contain salt so you don't want to add too much salt to your chicken. Here I'm adding one tablespoon of cornstarch. And then I'm just going to mix everything together, get the seasoning nice and all over my chicken pieces and get that cornstarch nice and, you know, to coat the chicken well. You can also use chicken breasts if that's what you like for this recipe, but I prefer the thighs and legs. I'll just rest this aside. Now on to making the sauce. So here I'm adding two tablespoons of soy sauce to my bowl and this is dark soy sauce. Next, two tablespoons of oyster sauce. I'm using dark soy sauce throughout the entire recipe by the way. This is two teaspoons of sugar. Next, a half teaspoon of sesame oil. Next, I'm going in with a teaspoon of rice vinegar. Next, a half teaspoon of chili powder. And I'm going to mix everything together. I'm using dark soy sauce throughout the recipe because it's not as salty as light soy sauce and you can also add more sugar if you'd like but two teaspoons for me was just great. Now rest this to the side. Now onto the noodles. I'm adding to my water here just a pinch of salt. Nothing much. Here, I'm, here I have 400 grams of noodles. My package says I should cook this for 4 minutes. I'm going to follow the instructions of the package. And let me say you don't need lo mein noodles or chow mein noodles. You can just grab your regular noodles and use those to make your chicken chow mein. So you just cook your noodles for however long your package states. Then you're just going to remove these from the pot and soak them in some ice water. Then you leave them to air dry just for a few minutes while you work on everything else. I, I'm resting mine right now on top of some napkin. You can just rest it on top of some parchment paper like on a baking tray and leave these to air dry. You don't want them to go from pot to pot. No, leave them to air dry just a bit. Now onto the chicken. Here I'm going to add two tablespoons of oil in my pot. My pot is very hot. It's over high heat right now. And I'm just adding all the chicken pieces. We want to stir fry these just for about three to four minutes. We want them to be cooked thoroughly, but we want, still want them to be nice and juicy. So three to four minutes will just be fine. After the, after the three to four minutes, if you're, you can just taste a piece of it. If you're not liking it, you can just put them back and just let them fry for a longer time. And this recipe is so simple guys, you can add your own little touch to your chicken chow mein, add your own little different types of vegetables and so on. It's homemade so it should definitely be according to your liking. And let me put it out there guys, you don't need a wok to cook Chinese food properly. Okay, so just give it your own little twist at home. This is Roma's kitchen style chow mein. You can follow this recipe and make it your home style of chicken chow mein as well. So after the three to four minutes, we have our chicken here, nice and juicy. We're going to drain the excess oil and also remove that which is in the pot. So that's it. Almost all the oil has been removed from my pot because now it's time to saute these vegetables. Here I have carrot, red bell pepper, purple cabbage, red onion, scallion, cucumber. And I'm going to add all that to my pot. My pot is very hot. 
usually you would see the green cabbage and chicken chow mein but as i said before this is a hundred percent roma's kitchen style my way so i add my vegetables well the vegetables that i like you just want to do this for about two minutes because you need these to cook a little but you don't need them you don't want them to get soft so just keep moving them around in your very hot pot for two minutes and you can add as much vegetables as you'd like to keep stir frying these then i'm going to go in now with some ginger a tablespoon of chopped ginger i love tasting a piece of ginger in my chow mein that's just me and you add the ginger last alongside the garlic because you don't want those to burn burn to garlic burn to ginger mm -mm -mm. So I've already added the ginger, now I'm going to add the garlic and for the garlic I'm just going to go in with the same amount, a tablespoon of the chopped garlic as well. Then keep stir frying these for just about half a minute more. Mm -hmm. And voila! finished rest this to the side now it's time to put everything together here i have two teaspoons of oil in my very hot pot and i'm going to fry up the noodles yes i will be frying the noodles you don't want to just take them out of some water leave them to drain then just mix everything together no you need to fry your noodles that is what chicken chow mein is you have to fry these noodles so my pot is very hot my oil is very hot and two teaspoons of oil it's not that much so i'm just going to add everything in my noodles are cooked but they're still nice and al dente you can't just break them like that or they're not soggy i should say because you can really break these easily so you just move this around in the oil to fry it up lovely and you can move this around in the hot oil just for about a minute or two to fry these noodles well mm -hmm. my noodles are not sticky at all and i didn't add any oil to it before nice okay so after frying these noodles up next we're going in with the chicken and try your best not to get any of that excess oil from the chicken in you just need the chicken we don't need any more oil in this even though what's left right now is like the juice from the chicken but we don't need that either okay all the chicken in mix everything together smelling good already lovely now it's time for us to add in the stir fried vegetables you can add way more vegetables than this guy in your chicken chow mein it's all up to you and we're just going to mix everything together here noodles aren't sticking to each other as you can see no time for the sauce that little sauce it will go a far way you don't need more than that sauce trust me mix it all up my pot is still over high heat at this point mixing it all together ensure that every noodle is coated with the sauce every piece of chicken all the vegetables nice and well coated 
Mm-hmm. Nice. Just leave that for just one more minute to be nice and you know get some of that heat. And voila. This is Roma's kitchen style chicken chow mein. Look at it, guys. Lovely, 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 lovely. Mm-hmm. Nice. You can have this for lunch or you can have this for dinner. It's all up to you. But trust me, this was everything. Really, really nice. And because my noodles, they weren't long made noodles or anything, they weren't really, really long. So, you know, they kind of broke in two and stuff like that. But it was all good. Here you have it. I share this up, Roman's Kitchen style, chicken chow mein, lovely, lovely, lovely recipe guys. So let me know in the comment section what you think about this video. If you like the video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel, turn your post notifications on, visit my website at romanskitchen.net for this and other great recipes. Until next video.